guys, this is Goody Goldfarber, and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling at your best, because today, our quote of the day is, do the best you can with what you can, while you can, and success is inevitable, by Steve Maraboli. If you take a look at nature, you will see that everything always does its best. If you look at the plants, you see that they grow as much as they can and they give fruits or, or flowers as much as they can. If they are not enough, if they are not giving enough, then there is a reason for this. But they are always doing their best in the situation and conditions that they have. You will not find lazy plants and you will not find lazy ants. They always do the best they can. We humans, on the other hand, have free will. We can choose not to do our best if we choose, if we so desire. We can choose not to make the best choices for ourselves, and we can even choose to make bad choices for ourselves. We have the free will to choose whatever we desire to do. Therefore, it is important that if you want to be your best, to be the best that you can be, then you must do the best that you can do in every situation. Doing your best will change with time as you grow and develop and learn new skills. So in effect, you will always be changing and improving on what you can do in, certain, in any circumstance at any given time. But once you do do your best in any given situation, you will remove many negative emotions that come when you don't do your best, such as regret, self-criticism, and even personal abuse. When you know you did your best, you will feel happy no matter what the results are because you know that you did all that you could do and nothing more. You couldn't do any more than you did. And if you like uh, what you do, it will certainly be much easier for you to do your best. If you are in a job, a relationship, if you're living in a home or taking part in any activity that you like, it will be much easier for you to do your best. So I want you to aim at uh, having the things that fill your life most of the day are things that you like to do. However, I understand totally that this is not always an option and there will be times that you will need to do things even when you don't want or like to do them. In such cases, you still want to do your best because of the person that you become when you're doing them. You, you change and you become a better version of yourself when you you do things that are not necessarily what you want to do or desire to do, but you still have to do them. When studying at school or university, there, of course, there are many, many subjects that you may not have interest in, but you still, nonetheless, have, will have to study them to pass your exams and get your degree. And when you do your best, even in these subjects, you will see that you are capable of much more than you think you are capable of doing. And you will also see that you can do a wide variety of things that you never thought was possible for you. I think this is one of the most important things that I have learned throughout my university years, that I am capable of learning and doing things that I'm not really interested in and that I don't always like. <laughs> and this has helped me in so many other fields of my life. Another example is doing the bureaucratic work that needs to be done in order to care for something, to take care of something. Israel, uh, where I live, is a socialistic country, and everything done here needs to go through a lot of bureaucracy. It takes effort and time to fill out forms to advance anything that most people uh, need to, or want to have. But like me, most people, I'm sure, hate this process. But still, I do it, and when I went through this procedure now so many times, I, and I did my best, then in the end, if you persist, good things come out of it. When you do your best, you grow your self-control, which is a very important characteristic for success in all fields of life, self-control. I have a video on how to develop your self-control, which I will link to at the end of this video. Doing your best grows so many virtues, including diligence, patience, kindness, humility. These are only a few to name. Um, when you do your best, you grow these virtues inside of you. You can always at least try to do your best. You don't 
you can try to do your best and you should try to do your best. You can never know uh, what could happen if you don't try to do your best. It is better to try and to fail than not to even try because when you do fail, there is something major that you learned. So there is major progress. But if you don't even try to do your best, you will have learned nothing and will still be in the same place you were before with no progress. You must always learn to take a risk when you do your best. But if you will never take risks, you will have not only a very boring life, but you will certainly be far from your true potential. Failure is always a possibility, especially when you're trying to do your best, but you want to set high and worthy goals for yourself and do your best to get there, to reach these goals. You want to reach your full potential. And you must take risks to reach your full potential and do your best to avoid failure whenever you can. But you must try to do as much as you can. The more involved you are with something, the better you can be at it. So be involved in whatever is important for you to the fullest that you can, and then you do your best automatically. When it comes to health, I help many people understand uh, all about the ideal diet for humans and how they can incorporate these lifestyle habits into their lives. But what I tell everyone is to do their best one day at a time with patience and best effort. The goals will always be in sight. So how do you know if you're doing your best? Well, have you read as much as you could today? Have you learned all that you could today? Ask yourself these questions. Did you do as many tasks as you could have done today? Have you had time for your friends and family as much as you could have had today? Have you seen as much of the world as you could have done today? Have you earned as much as you could have today? Have you tried as much as you could have today? Ask yourself these questions. See things through to the end. Do not stop midway. Finish what you start by doing your best every single day. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself on top of those questions of how, uh, so that the answer will help you improve your life and make sure that you're on track to reaching your fullest potential. So the question of the day is, in which areas of my life can I do better than I'm currently doing? And which new skills or knowledge would I have to gain to be able to be my best, do my best in this field of life? And how or where can I get these skills and knowledge as soon as possible? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over them and make sure that you're improving your life in the right direction for you. So to finish off this video with the affirmation of the day, the affirmation is, I refuse to give up because I haven't tried all the possible ways. I will do all that I can always. I refuse to give up because I haven't tried all of the possible ways, and I will do all I can always. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content and ring the notifications button to get notified every time I upload a new video, which is almost every day. Also, Please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.